I mean, and cheating in War Thunder is like, well, in any multiplayer games, is a persistent issue that undermines the integrity of the gaming experience. Now, War Thunder is a vehicular combat game, as we all know and love, featuring a wide array of vehicles that relies heavily on fair play to ensure a balanced and competitive environment. Unfortunately, some players resort to cheating tactics such as aimbots, wall hacks, and other unauthorized third-party software to gain an unfair advantage over, well, us as their opponents. But before we get into that, might I ask that you subscribe to the YouTube channel? We're trying to hit 70,000 subscribers, and I'd be appreciated if you join the community. Anyway, this not only disrupts gameplay for those who play by the rules, but it also tarnishes the reputation of the game and the community. War Thunder isn't necessarily known for cheating, although it is something that is uh, occasionally looked at. There are, well, the developers, Girls and Entertainment, have implemented various anti-cheat measures to combat cheating within the game. These measures include detection algorithms, player reporting systems, and periodic updates to the game client. And obviously they host most of the things on the server side as they've got patents for various different control methods and they try and use algorithms to detect what players are doing. Despite these efforts, cheaters continue to find a way to exploit the vulnerabilities and, well, basically create an ongoing battle between the developers who, are, well, seek to compromise the game integrity and, well, the community uh, in general. As a response, uh, we have to play a crucial role in identifying and reporting suspected cheaters and contributing to the ongoing effort to maintain a fair and enjoyable gaming environment and the consequence of cheating in War Thunder can be quite severe. Garage Entertainment is taking a strict stance on offenders by pushing punishments from range from temporary suspension to basically permanent bans and depending on the severity and the frequency of cheating this serves as a deterrent but just recently, a Reddit post popped up in which uh, some Chinese cheaters from large-scale uh, various other things went undercover, infiltrated into a, a few cheaters groups long enough to obtain not only the source code of more than 20 kinds of cheats and scripts, but then decided to pack the source code and send them all out to Gouge Entertainment, resulting in today 40,000 cheaters being banned today alone. And this act is quite surprising. Gaussian doesn't really act on things that quickly. However, they do have an anti-cheat software, although EZ8 is not exactly known for its, uh, well, security, so to speak. Although Gaussian does regularly update various different things and they do back-end server-side validation, they also have a reporting and moderation systems and they also do account penalties. What strikes me is that they've acted on this so quickly. That'll explain the dip in play account yesterday. I was wondering where a lot of the other players were. Normally, in well, the week after about a major update, we've got around 130 to 140, even 150,000 players online, even active during peak times. But today, there's only about 94,000, even when I'm playing in the European time zone. It should be noted, though, that it's important to note the effectiveness of anti-cheat measures can vary, and it often requires ongoing effort to adapt to new cheating methods. Game developers have typically uh, engaged in a continuous cat and mouse game with cheaters, uh, aiming to stay ahead through a combination of technological solutions, player reports, and community engagement. And if you're interested in the latest measures taken by Gaussian Entertainment, I recommend clicking their own official communications or the community forums for updates. So I'm sure there'll be some formal statement at this time. I have reached out to a couple of the community managers. I have yet to see a formal response in regards to the actions taken and the banning of 40,000 players. But what I have seen is several players uh, who have taken up to the forums complain that they've lost their, their uh, account practically because, well, playing for three years and 900 hours gets caught cheating. Well, too bad. Sunny Jim. And there are countless reports like this saying they've been playing for X amount of years, have spent X amount of money, and well, this has only appeared as of about 13 hours ago when these things and these cheats were discovered, or at least this source code was sent to Gaussian Entertainment. And the fact is, it states in the end user license agreement that account sharing is prohibited and obviously having a bunch of other things as well. And what that means is, well, Cheating is typically a violation of the game's terms of service, and players who are caught uh, face consequences. As such, well, 
cheating undermines the core principles of fair play, sportsmanship, and the competitive spirit that makes, well, War Thunder an enjoyable experience. And it is what developers need to invest in heavily. Most of the flying uh, remainder of, of simulator battles and uh, air simulator battles tends to be screaming out the roof about cheaters. People who played uh, PvE battles have been screaming out cheaters. And for the longest time there are aimbots that you can actually visibly see with War Thunder for realistic battles of ships where the AI would basically just fling shells across the map with main battery guns and there wasn't much you could do. Until they changed it obviously, this was a couple of months ago now, uh, naval battles hasn't really seen this same influx of bots uh, but there was an instance recently where there were waves of bots taking over aerialistic uh, vehicles specifically uh, with bombers and ground attack aircraft flying out in, in groups or formations all run on the same virtual machines and various other things with the same programs running and mass bombing out airfields and bombing points and prior to the F-14's introduction, there was a period of time where you would see various uh, heavy bombers and jet bombers flying in formation across the map, bombing out a couple of bombing points and dying either to a missile or an interceptor as they go along. And these accounts would have thousands of battles in similar uh, accounts, and then these accounts would be reselled online for a, an approximate value. And doing a bit of research, uh, cheating in War Thunder can come in several different formats. As I mentioned earlier uh, in, in the video, there's 20 different groups that this guy had managed to get himself in, involved with and it subsequently stole the source code for and gave that and zipped it up and sent it to Galgen Entertainment. What they've done with that is banned 40,000 players, but not only that, it just shows you the variety of things out there that could impact and, and, and can modify a game's final uh, a result so you never know what to look for of course identifying cheaters in war thunder or any online game can be challenging but here are some potential signs for cheating in war thunder at least from what i have observed unusual accuracy players who consistently exhibit exceptionally high accuracy i'm not talking laser range finders or anything like that but i'm talking exceptional accuracy multiple kills and and this isn't just a sign of a good player but this is a suspect to unnatural reaction times uh, when facing an enemy vehicle or potentially even impossible maneuvers uh, or inconsistent performance. Uh, they often ignore obstacles, they can often track uh, there's unusual behavior in the replay system and oftentimes reviewing replay footage of a suspected cheater can sometimes reveal unusual patterns such as, such as constantly locking onto some enemies behind obstacles uh, and then reports from other players. So it's it's really a, a hard thing to put a grasp on, but unfortunately, the reality is every single video game has cheaters in it somewhere. You've heard about it in Tarkov, DayZ, for example, uh, any of the other massively multiplayer online games, and, well, it's just an unfortunate reality of, well, the situation of playing uh, a, a, a popular game. But yes, uh, there is no other mention from Guardian Entertainment as of yet to the specifics on how and why. I'm sure they'll probably make an article or a statement or one of the community managers will reach out at some point. Hopefully they do. Otherwise, what do you think of the cheaters and uh, this sort of scenario here? It's quite an interesting one. It's not often you find Galgen on the front line trying to be proactive here. And, uh, you know, and this is something that I can give them praise for because this will generally improve and hopefully improve the positivity of the game. And as we move into the Christmas period, uh, it's important to note that, well, things are probably going to change a little bit. Player base is going to fluctuate as people obviously do things. So I do apologize for the lack of uploads recently. I kind of have been in a bit of a rut recently. Uh, and yeah, I'm trying to stop myself from drinking alcohol because they're providing me a bunch of issues. As all the last video, we talked about the roadmap, I didn't necessarily explain myself quite clearly enough. And I do apologize for that. A lot of people took me the wrong way in that video. A lot of people said that it was nothing wrong with it. I decided to relist the video after about 24 hours of it being unlisted. Uh, look, it is what it is. When you talk about roadmaps and when 90% of it's been implemented and I get angry at the 10% that hasn't, it really is that my fault or is that Galgen's? Because ultimately they will roll back on a change that they stated that would happen, even though that's not necessarily how things go. Anyway. 
thanks for watching buy my decal link in the description um subscribe and all that other stuff we'll see you in the next one bye bye